Hello everyone, Tony Vitt here again. Just wanted to do a very brief lecture covering how to format your search paper draft and the final paper, and how we're going to handle peer evaluation for your drafts coming up this week. Let's first talk about how to actually format the paper. If you go under the handouts module on Canvas, then you will find a document that is labeled paper template. And most of you use this for the annotated bibliography, and I'm very glad of that. Some of you did not. So I do want to make sure that you're doing this properly when you turn in this paper. What you'll need to do is, of course, type your name up here, whatever that name might be. You'd leave this the same as it is. You would name this research paper because that's what the assignment is going to be. Uh, for the one that you're going to turn in this week, on Wednesday, you would say research paper draft to make it clear that this is the draft and not the final copy. When you go back into this paper to make your revisions for final, then you're going to take that away, obviously. So we're going to leave draft up here. And then you would give the date that it is due. And the date for this particular draft is going to be Wednesday of this week so that we have enough time to do peer evaluations on it. So that's going to be April 22nd, 2020. All right, and here you would just start typing, obviously, da -da 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 and on this page, of course, you do the Works Cited page, which is going to have all of your citations. As far as the four sections of the paper go, you don't necessarily have to have separated sections with actual headings for each section, though it may not be a bad idea because your peers are going to be asked to see whether or not you have all four sections of the paper. And separating them might not be a bad idea because essentially these are going to be miniature papers. In fact, that's how I would anticipate that you're going to handle the drafting of them by doing each section separately. This is, of course, the homework announcement for this week. And if you're watching this, then you'll see that this is not hotlinked. It will be hotlinked with this very video that you're watching right now once this goes out. But you're going to notice that there are two links you need to be aware of. In fact, there are three, but one is doubled. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is post your draft of your research paper by Wednesday of this week, April 22nd, by 11.59 p.m. And what I will do is the next morning I will make sure that you are assigned with at least two other peers whose work you're going to look at and who will look at your work. And I'll have those peers assigned to you by noon the next day, which is Thursday but only if you have posted a draft on time. All right, you're gonna get 100 points if you do all of this. It's gonna be a very easy A if you do two things. One, post your draft, and two, evaluate the two peers that are assigned to you by the deadlines. You'll get 100 points very easily. However, you will not get that 100 points if you don't do either one, and you'll get a penalty on the final paper if you don't do either one. If you only post the draft, then you'll get 50 points because obviously you only did half the work. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna come here, make sure to follow these instructions. You're going to reply to this message with a blank post and attach your draft to it by 11.59 on Wednesday, April 22nd. And all you have to do is go down here to apply and attach draft. And you post your reply. And I will be able to see that you have posted your draft. This is what I will be looking for on Thursday morning. After everybody has posted their draft, I'm going to go and make sure that everybody has posted it, obviously and you're going to be assigned peers based on whoever's turned in those drafts and those pairings will appear down here. Peer assignments will appear below after 12 noon on Thursday, April 23rd. Now, if you post all the way up to Thursday, 11 a.m., I'll still assign you to a group or I'll assign you to other peers, but I may knock a few points off for lateness. 
but it all is circumstantial. If it turns out that you just weren't able to do it for some reason or other, don't worry about it. It's perfectly fine. We'll figure it out. Okay, once you have been assigned two other people, you're going to download and read their drafts. You're going to go to whatever it says here, and you're going to look for their names, and you're going to download their papers by clicking on it and then saving it to your local disk and then opening it. By the way, make sure that your paper is openable by everybody. Make sure it is either DOC, DOCX, or RTF. If you are working with an Apple computer and you're working in pages, make sure to export to one of those formats. Do not save your paper in PDF or in notes or in pages. Do not do that. You're going to download it. You're going to read the paper and you're going to answer those questions in paragraph form for your peer. And rinse and repeat. In other words, do this for each of your assigned peers drafts. Everyone will read two other people's papers Two other people will read your papers. All of this should, your paper rather, all of this should be finished by no later than 1.59 p.m. on Saturday. So you should have two full days to be able to do this. And again, bear in mind, if you don't turn in that draft or by at least 11 a.m. the next day, you will not be assigned peer evaluations, which means you get zero points. And peer evaluations are now considered 20% of your full course grade because we're not doing in-class presentations anymore. If you do post a draft but you don't complete peer evaluations, you get half credit. Failure to do both of these things means you don't not only get a zero for this assignment, but your final grade is going to be docked to full letter grade. Now, the use of the questions you're going to be answering. You're going to answer all of those questions for your peer by clicking reply, and then coming down here and saying the thesis of, I'm sorry, not the thesis, the topic, ah, the topic of the writer's paper. By the way, this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing for your papers. This is the sort of evaluation I'll be doing. It. These are the questions I'll be asking when I grade them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera and then you'd hit post reply. You notice that it does tell you how long your reply is. Your reply to each of your peers' papers needs to be at least 150 words for each evaluation. If you do that for each person, and you see that it'll come right underneath the uh, post that has their draft in it. If you do that for each of your peers, then you will get the full 100 points. If you don't, you don't. There's one other thing you need to be aware of, and that is that you also have to post that draft for me, and that's going to be in a different link. Let me show you where that is. That is going to be, we'll go back where we were, and that's going to come here. You should submit that same draft here, and you should see a Turnitin link coming up. In fact, yours is gonna look very different because you're gonna have a submission link. That's what you need to do. You need to submit that exact same peer evaluation draft here so that I can read it because I'm not gonna be reading it for points. I'm gonna be reading it in a way that I can actually use the speed grader, which is, which is right here, in order to make marks on it, make suggestions and all that, which I'll expect you to follow. What that means is you're gonna be posting this paper twice. Once you're gonna be posting it to the peer evaluation draft link so that you can get the drafts of your peers and so that they can see yours and get 100 points. And you're gonna be posting it here. I will deduct points for papers that are not posted here in addition to this, because I need something to mark or comment on. I shouldn't have to go here in order to download your paper so I can just mark it. And when you are done, by Saturday, April 25th, you would of course go back there and finish by posting all of your comments. That's what you will need to do for this week. 
And that's essentially it. You'll also notice that I have posted an extra credit discussion for The Great Dictator. So if you did watch that film and you wanted to, um, so if you did watch that film and you want to respond to it and you want to get points, you're going to get up to an additional 10 points. In fact, if you do it at all and you do the minimum word count for it, I will give you 10 points. That will help you make up for whatever grade you might be having some difficulty with. And that's essentially it. So if you have questions at all, please contact me. If you want to meet in person, we can do a Zoom conference. And that's essentially it. If you have any questions or concerns at all, please let me know. Please know also that I am very proud of everybody who's been keeping up with the work of this class. I know it's not easy. I know it's very difficult given everything that we're all going through, but we're almost done. Not with the craziness going on out there, obviously. That's going to take a little longer on the grade. But we're almost done with this class. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you continue to do the work for the last few weeks that we're together. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.